Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The UAVs are one of the technology disruptors in model era battlefield. India has unsettled border dispute with China stretching to nearly 3400 km from eastern Ladakh to Arunachal Pradesh. Along the west and northwestern region India shares border with Pakistan. from where there are continuous attempts of infiltration by terrorists are happening these vast border areas need to be under continuous surveillance and monitoring by armed forces to maintain peace and stability however maintaining 24 by 7 surveillance along the borders is nearly impossible as these are tough terrains with mountains and forests this is where india needs hail and mail remotely piloted aircrafts which can provide continuous isr to armed forces at present israel's heron drone forms the backbone of indian armed forces rpa the tri services are dependent upon israel made searcher 2 and heron uav for the isr operation these drones are used for isr mission but has limited range and endurance india is planning to upgrade this rpas under project chita Under Project Cheetah, 19 Heron drones of Tri Services are to be upgraded and armed with Israel's help to carry out offensive operation against enemy. The Project Cheetah would be awarded to an Indian defense firm which will equip them with missiles and advanced surveillance capabilities. It is planned to be armed with laser guided bombs, air to ground and air launched anti-tank guided missiles. The upgrades would also enable the ground control station to operate these RPAs from far off distances and control them through a satellite communication system. This project is in the last stage of decision making. On 17th July, a report by ANI states that these RPAs are to be upgraded by HL with over 60% indigenous content. India is also in process of acquiring 31 MQ-9 RPAs out of which 10 will be made in US and the remaining 21 is to be built in India. As per Indian Navy chief, the local manufacturing of RPA will give India advantage of various technologies that can be transferred in terms of radar processing, sensor fusion, some of the composites that are part of aircraft, titanium alloy casting for under carriage and so many other payloads integration of weapons. The Defence Acquisition Council on 15th June 2023 has accorded acceptance of necessity for the acquisition of 31 MQ-9B which includes 16 Sky Guardian and 15 Sea Guardian for the tri services from US through foreign military sales route. The AON included number of UAVs to be procured along with associated equipment. The AON has noted that estimated cost of 3072 million US dollars provided by US government however the price will be negotiated once policy approval of US government is received india has also developed its indigenous mail rpa tapas on 27 june 2023 tapas demonstrated 200th flight to tri services team for the first time at atr chitradurga and is now ready for user evaluation trials which is planned in the second quarter of 2023 the tactical air bond platform for air surveillance beyond horizon 201 or tapas bh201 is a completely indigenous mail uav every system that goes inside this bird including engine is going to be indigenous the uav features jam resistant data link system that enables uav to operate beyond line of sight up to 1000 kilometers Some of the key features of Tapas is robustness, reliability, secure data link, autonomous takeoff and landing, and advanced ground control station. The same advanced ground control station can be used to fly other indigenous RPAs, which are Archer NG and short-range weaponized UAV or SR UAV. Tapas will be able to operate at an altitude of up to twenty-eight thousand feet. with an endurance of nearly 18 plus hours it is a highly reliable uav with fail safe architecture employing redundant indigenous subsystems the ground control suite is reconfigurable 
and highly advanced state of art system for current as well as future UAV. Tapas will be able to carry payload of up to 350 kilograms. It is integrated with SATCOM and can carry EO, SAR and electronic warfare payload. On 17th July 2023, ANI has reported that Indian Defence Forces are all set to acquire 97 Made in India drone for ISR operation along the borders with China and Pakistan. The procurement will cost over 10,000 crore rupees with Indian Air Force leading the procurement process for tri-services. Air Force will be getting most out of these drones for operation. While the name of drone has not been stated in the report of ANI, it is most likely going to be indigenous tapas. As per the latest reports, tapas is expected to begin military trials in August 2023. The user evaluation trial set to commence shortly will allow Indian Armed Forces to thoroughly assess the TAPAS UV's capability in real-world scenarios. These trials are aimed to evaluate its performance, operational efficiency and suitability for various defense applications. These trials are expected to be complete by the end of year 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.